Uh, Elizabeth, uh, for my viewers, where geographically are we located here in the state of New York? We're in the beautiful Hudson Valley. Uh, we're right near the Rip Van Winkle Bridge, which goes over the Hudson River. We're about two hours north of New York City. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and very easy to get to. Right. And this home of this painter is right on the road. I mean, you don't have to go too far to see it. No, you actually, it's hard to miss because <laughs> of the major roads right out there in front. So, um, no, it's, it's, uh, this used to be a smaller road out here in front, but of course it's gotten bigger over the years. Mm -hmm. Now, Thomas Cole, let's talk about the painter first, and then we'll talk about the house where we're sitting on his porch. Uh, but let's talk about the painter. What type of painter was he? Well, Thomas Cole was a landscape painter, and not just any landscape painter. He was really the first major landscape painter in America. And um, you have to imagine back in America in, in 1801, it's a pretty new country, and so we didn't have a lot of our own traditions. You know, what did it mean to be American? It, now it's, what, apple pie and baseball, but we didn't have a ready answer at that time. So people were looking for something, say, what is it about us that's unique? You know, we need, we need some traditions here. And Thomas Cole provided that. Uh, American landscape painting was one of the first major traditions that took hold and it gave Americans something to be proud of. Mm -hmm. And I guess because uh, you know it wasn't the digital picture age, uh, the, the landscape painter was in much demand uh, for the paintings being used as photos. Well it was, it was sort of the first documentation and it started tourism in the area as well because people saw these magnificent paintings and thought, well, maybe I'd like to go there. <laughs> Very good. What type of landscapes did he like the best? He liked landscapes that were wild and untouched by mankind. And uh, so he particularly liked the Catskills, which are here. Uh, we're in between the Catskills and the Hudson River. And it provided a lot of this wild scenery that really wasn't yet farmed and developed and, and cultivated. It was more of sort of the, um, the, the crazy uh, dead trees entwined with each other and lakes that were unnavigable and, and lots of those things that, that he liked the best. We craggy mountains things that looked a little savage. Of course, at that time, in this area, it wouldn't be as uh, populated as it is right now. That's right. It was a lot less populated. Um, but interestingly, he painted landscapes that looked completely devoid of people, except he sometimes put a Native American figure in the painting. Um, but in fact, it was already getting quite touristed. Yeah. So um, he painted the nearby Catterskill Falls, which is a popular tourist attraction now. He painted it as if there had been no one there ever. Um, but in fact, there was already a staircase there to accommodate <laughs> tourists and, and wow. a pavilion with a refreshment stand at the top. And, but he painted all that out because he wanted to have pristine nature. And of course, a painter can do that. He can put in what he wants and take out what he wants. That's right, and he was famous for that. Well, now, he used to pal around, I guess, with Frederick, who's just up the road, uh, church, that is. That's right. Actually, Thomas Cole, um, being the first in this uh, new art movement of American landscape painting, was the go-to guy if you wanted to learn how to do this. So Frederick Church was a young, wealthy teenager, and his family said, well, if you want to study art, you've got to go to Thomas Cole. So they sent him over here to study and to learn how to do it. Ah, very good. And of course, Thomas took him under his wing. Yep, and he lived here and worked here alongside Thomas Cole, and they went out and did a lot of sketching trips together. You can tell because the pencil studies survived. You can see that they painted the exact same view, uh -huh, uh -huh. so they, you know where they were together. Wow. Now, did Thomas uh, follow in his father's footsteps or, uh, or not? No, there really wasn't any other art in his family or his descendants never picked it up either. His, his f uh, father was kind of a failed businessman. He kept trying over and over to different things. But I guess you could say there was some artistic uh, inclination because he did some wallpaper design and um, some printing. So maybe Thomas Cole got a few ideas there. Hmm. Now, is this uh, Thomas Cole's home where he was born or is this the home that, that, that he bought and, and started his uh, life in? Yeah, actually none of the above. <laughs> it's a funny story. Wow. I know. Um, he was born in England and came to this country as a young man and um, started coming up to Catskill when he was about, let's see, 24. And um, he, he started frequenting this property, rented a studio, painted here, and then fell in love with one of the nieces that were living here, married her, and moved in. Ah! 
Okay. So this became his permanent home from then on. Mm-hmm. And then uh, at, with the marriage, then evidently he had some children. Yes, uh, he had four surviving children, and one of them actually was born after he died. His pregnant wife had a, had a child after he died. Wow. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's and of course in those days, I guess again we have to remember that the diseases that went through uh, could not be fixed like they can now. Well, winters were very harsh. Yeah. You have to imagine living here when there was no central heat, and you know they would write letters with ink, and the ink would freeze, and they'd have to stop writing their letter. Oh. So that gives you some idea. Wow. Um, so he died in February, and it was some kind of a pneumonia. Um, tough. He was only 47 years old. Oh my goodness, that is young. It was. Especially for that. Well, now, uh, the home itself, um, how many rooms do we have, or how many rooms are open to the public? We have about six rooms that we regularly include in our tour, plus Thomas Cole's studio, which is where he made all of his, or a lot of his, best-known masterpieces. Hmm. Now, are they still around, or do you have a lot of those masterpieces, or are they in different private collections? His paintings are now in major museums all over the world. We have a few paintings here. Um, but uh, this house, the story of this house has gone through a lot of ups and downs. Um, it was almost left for a, just left for dead in uh, the late 80s. It was in terrible shape. This porch we're sitting on was about to fall off the house. Um, everything in the house had been auctioned off, including paintings. So it was, um, it was in a sad state. But it luckily the community rallied and restored it. And uh, so now it's, it has thousands of visitors a year. Who is actually operating uh, this, uh, this beautiful house? Well, it's, uh, it's not part of the New York State Parks. It's not nationally, federally owned. We just raise all the money ourselves and run it. And so you do have special events then during the year along with your admission? We do. We have, uh, we have a lot of lectures. We have um, people who really know this American art come and talk about it uh, quite frequently. And we have um, a big summer party here in July. And so uh, there's lots to see and do. This, this house is, of course, in a regular neighborhood, so it's not like acres and acres and acres of land here. Uh, and so if, if you get a couple of thousand people, you've got a crowd. <laughs> yes, thank goodness they all don't come on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it really, uh, I mean, you've got a very nice yard area, and I notice we have a painter out there right now painting. That's right. Well, it's a favorite spot for painters because it's so beautiful. The, the view of the Catskills is one of the best. You can see the entire mountain range from from north to, to south and um, but it's um, it's not uh, it's not the kind of place um, that you that it was in Thomas Cole's time back in Cole's time it was about a hundred acres oh I see okay yeah. okay so there was a so lot more acreage a here. lot more acreage at that time now we're about five and a half acres right right yeah so uh, and and of course there's a small parking lot out there well, that's going to change. Oh, is it? Yeah. Tell us. Well, we have a big landscape restoration coming up this fall, and we um, we received some uh, some uh, money in the federal transportation bill, mm -hmm. and we're going to put in a nice big parking lot with a bus turnaround. Very good. Well, if we want more information, Elizabeth, uh, where can we get it? Because certainly people coming to this area uh, would, would want to stop in and see Thomas Cole's home. Well, um, our website is probably the best. It's www thomascole.org that's the easiest and we're also uh, you can call us at 518-943-7465 and we're right here in Catskill New York on 218 Spring Street and uh, this is where American art began so it's it's a it's a pilgrimage for a lot of people